What's up YouTube, Jeff Beck again from DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm bringing you guys a special video sponsored by my friends at NordVPN. Something actually I've been wanting to talk about for a while and it's the perfect time to do so. If you guys have been following the news, you probably heard about the Equifax hack that affected over 143 million Americans, information compromised through one of the credit bureaus. Now, what does that have to do with the Galaxy Note 8, which I have here, and protecting your smartphone? Well, one of the most important things that you can do to protect your smartphone, aside from a good password manager, which I've talked about before, LastPass, one of my favorite password managers, and then of course also a fingerprint or iris unlock or face unlock, having a secure unlock method. Aside from those things, one of the other things that you can do to protect your phone and the traffic that you run over your phone every day, the data, is to get a quality VPN. Now VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and this allows you basically to bounce the data that you're sending um, from your phone and to your phone through another server which in turn gives you increased security. So one of my favorite VPNs and again thanks to them for sponsoring the video is NordVPN. They have one of the highest ranked VPNs on the Play Store, 4.3 stars hundreds of thousands of downloads on the Play Store, and they have a lot of unique features that I wanna show you guys today. So this is what it looks like when NordVPN is actually running on your machine. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in the Play Store so that you can see when you actually wanna download it. You can go there, check it out. Like I said, 500,000 downloads. So if you open the app here, I have it running on my Galaxy Note 8. You'll be presented with a few options. The first one is that you can actually go on a map around the world and choose servers that are in different countries. This is incredibly useful for people who travel abroad, if you're a business person and you wanna get access to say Netflix um, and you're in another country, you wanna use US Netflix, you can go ahead and grab a server that's in the US, you can connect to that server, um, even one that's in Mexico if you have a reason to do that. But if you wanna use Netflix in the US, connect to a US server and then you'll be able to view Netflix. Now this is one of the few VPNs left that have options for viewing US based Netflix in other countries. Most of the other VPNs don't actually allow that. Now you can use it in other ways too. Say you wanna watch something interesting that's in Australia. My friend Jamie was talking about you know, people outside of Australia wanting to watch the Australian version of the Survivor. They also have a VPN server that you can connect to in Australia. You could do that as well. Now, if you're just you know, using it in the US and you wanna use it for security, say you go to your local coffee shop, you go to Starbucks, and you wanna make sure that people are not spying on you, that they're not going to get any access to your private data while you're using that public Wi-Fi hotspot, you can connect to the closest VPN server that's near you. You see here in uh, the US, one that's 23 kilometers away from me. They've got the various ones that you can connect to. If you wanna do a quick connect, you can just press at the top. They'll find the best possible server for you to connect to. This is gonna route your traffic over a secure connection. You don't have to worry about using those uh, public Wi-Fi hotspots. You'll get a nice and secure connection. You can use your banking apps, whatever you need to use, even in a public hotspot. Now there's a lot of other cool features if you go over here um, and you wanna check out some of the other features that NordVPN offers. CyberSec, which is actually a way to avoid ads and protect your device from malware while you're using the VPN. Um, Auto Connect, you can set up some default servers if you actually wanna to connect to those. And then there's a couple other options. Again, you saw the map. If you wanna just scroll through and you wanna use the list, you can actually do this in a nice way by just using the various countries that you want to connect to. So if you know which country you want, just tap on it, say Australia, and then you'll see all the servers they have available for you in Australia. And then at the top, there's some special features that they have. They have VPNs that are specially tailored to peer-to-peer -to -peer sharing, uh, Onion, so Tor browser, if you want to get on the anonymous Tor network via VPN. Double VPN, if you need extra security, go ahead and pass your data through two servers. Also, you have access to get a dedicated IP if you need it. Now, another thing that's really unique about this is that this particular VPN also works in China. So if you wanna use it there in order to get a secure connection and watch things like uh, Netflix or other things that are abroad while you're traveling, you can use this in China. It is again, one of the very, very few that do work. So they have over a thousand servers in 61 countries. It's a really useful thing. And a question I get a lot when asking, uh, people ask me about a VPN is whether or not it's gonna slow down your connection. So I thought I'd show you really quick um, how much it does slow down the connection. I, obviously it's going to because you're connecting and routing your traffic to another server. Right now I'm connected to the server here. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect right here in the app. And then I'm gonna go to speed test app and do a quick speed test on my Wi-Fi. 
I did one earlier, so they're saved there. I'll test it again. We'll see what we get for download and upload, and then we'll run it again while connected to the closest VPN server to me, and then we'll see what sort of percentage decrease we get in the download and upload. So you can see here, while I'm not connected to the VPN here, it's gonna get about 100 megs down, 98.06, and then my upload, as usual, in my house, it's usually around 30 or so megs up. So we wanna basically see what kind of percent decrease we get if we connect to that US-based uh, VPN again. So I'm gonna go back into the list, and then I'm gonna go to the top, and then I wanna just do a quick connect here. So if you look in the actual list, you just at the bottom, you can type quick connect. That's gonna connect you to the best possible server. You can go up here, it'll show you you're connected to the US 342 server. Go back into the speed test app, and let's test it again and see what kind of results we get, what kind of latency and what kind of speed decrease. You can see obviously we do get some speed decrease. It looks like about a factor of about a third because we had 98.06 before, a little bit more than a third. So around 30% of the original download speed. And then the upload speed, usually when I run over the VPN, it's not really compromised. So if you wanted to upload some YouTube videos while you're traveling in China or something like that, you don't get too much of a compromise. So you guys can see right there the results uh, for those last two runs. Again, about 30% on the overall upload. Um, on the download and then about on the upload, it's around the same, not much of a decrease. You can see that the ping actually had the same exact time according to the Ookla speed test. Okay, so that's an overall look at NordVPN. It's a really great tool to make sure that you're securing the data that you're sending over uh, your connection, especially if you use a lot of public hotspots. And in the wake of the Equifax leak, I think security is a big deal. If you buy a $950 Galaxy Note 8, you probably wanna protect it in every way possible, not just by using a great case, but also by using the tools that are gonna protect you out there in the virtual world on the internet. So if you guys wanna try out NordVPN that I showed off today, they have teamed up with me to offer you guys a 70% off discount code for one year subscription to NordVPN. All you gotta do is use the code Jeff, which I'll drop below. That's just my name in all lowercase. At the link in the description, you guys can get 70% off and enjoy all the great benefits that I talked about today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so I can bring you future Note 8 coverage. You guys can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. I appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.